got a minor aggro deck here out of Music Master and perhaps something big out of Yao Yao. Cannon does crash within range, gets a few pop shots on that left side of the tower. Music Master takes some damage, but he's going to be wary about these minions. The thing about this minor minion attack that makes it so deadly is that the minions themselves aren't too sturdy. They take a little bit of damage, they fall down. But with that minor tanking the damage from that tower in the bottom left, there's not a whole lot that those little flying critters have to worry about. And Inferno Dragon is one of the deadliest cards in Clash Royale. It is a flying armored dragon. Starts off doing a little bit of damage, but the longer it locks onto the same target, it's going to do much, much more. Inferno Dragon's going to want to oh. fight that balloon. Oh, no! No damage dropped. Very dangerous situation there for Yao Yao. Damage absolute from the balloon. You can do a ton in a very short amount of time if it gets to the tower. So very important for him to be able to push that off and prevent it from connecting. That left side Mega Minion to be able to swipe down the goblins. And unfortunately for Yao Yao, it's not quite in range. This Inferno Dragon burning up the miner in the back, but it looks like Music Master will hold the damage lead in the first couple of minutes. What does double elixir time mean for us, though, Ramhan? It's about to start. We have one unrevealed card in Music Master's deck and two unrevealed cards in Yao Yao's deck. I'm willing to bet that those are some big, tanky cards. And once we hit double elixir, we're gonna start seeing him. Balloon is coming down out the river for Music Master. His goal is trying to connect wow. that balloon to the tower. If it gets there, we're talking 800 plus damage dropped onto a tower that's nearly dead oh. already. Here oh. we go. Oh. oh, is it a second drop? No, it's it the first drop off, but the death damage added on top means that that left side is going to be awfully low. Not quite within zap range, but maybe a miner can finish it off. The trouble here now, though, is that he's got a huge golem marching down his left lane, and Mega Knight is not well equipped to deal with it. A lot of single target damage is necessary to take that big beefy guy out, and it took a, like, a little bit of chip damage off the left side as the golem might start chipping away. The miner adds on top and brings it down to triple digits, but I think he's going to stay safe for now, Remy. A ton of damage was dealt to Music Master's tower, but now he is on the counter attack. Music Master goes up one tower and 15 seconds to go. Yao Yao needs to figure out a way to do 900 damage in 10 seconds. It seems like he can't do it as he gives a good game and the first battle of the first match of the first Clash Royale World Finals is going to Music Master. Absolutely dominant, a virtuoso of music and also in the arena. The key tower for Yao Yao got down to 556. And having played for a while, this is his the, the fall season of CCGS was his first major competition. Game two is underway. Bats is opening it up for Music Master along with Miner to the tower. Mega Minion comes down to defend as the Bats close in. Electro Wizard comes down, takes it out, and we have a counter attack coming down for Yao Yao. Miner again pops up, distracting the tower. Minion Hork comes to block, and a little bit of damage is getting done. For the opening three and four cards from each player, it looks like Yao Yao's gonna walk away with the advantage. Pretty happy there. Poison damage on the tower is good. Gets 240 damage over the eight seconds that it ticks away. It's reliable, but it's not a whole lot. The damage advantage for Yao Yao here could certainly be countered by Music Master. He's got about one and a half elixir more than Yao Yao. And just to let you know, for the folks at home, we were uh, able to announce the two bans from this match. Yao Yao banned the Knight, while Music Master banned Elixir Collector. That means that neither oh. of them will be able to use those cards. Knight is a card that I have never seen banned in Crown Championship Global Series play, yet it is consistently one of the strongest cards in the game. So I think that Yao Yao might be on that new, new meta ah. by banning out the very popular three-cost mini tank. Very, very popular. It doesn't cost a whole lot. It does a lot for you, though. Yes. It takes a lot of damage, and especially against those kind of mini swarms. Like, he can deal with a Goblin Gate pretty well. He can defend against the Sonite pretty well. He's not an expert at any one particular thing, uh, but he holds off quite well. We're not going to see him in this match, though. Most of the decks have been revealed so far. Music Master is playing the same deck he played in last game. So that last card, Mega Knight. Mega Knight, when he lands on the battlefield, huge impact on the ground, dealing tons of damage. And on counterattacks, when he sees an enemy, he's going to leap onto them, dealing even more damage. Yao Yao has brought a counter deck to Ooh. this. Yao Yao, one of his two unrevealed cards, I'm willing to bet, is Big Mama Pekka, a seven-cost tank with a huge amount of damage with each sword swing. Pekka matches up very well against Mega Knight, so Music Master's got to be careful about deploying the most expensive card in his deck. You know, Yao Yao was actually a clan leader back in Clash of Clans, so he is very familiar with the Clash universe, and he definitely knows that Pekka well. Going to make uh -oh. great use of her if he can get a connection here, but look out! Minion Horde attack up the left side gets taken down by Poison, but not before getting a couple swings up the left side tower. Miner goes down to that Electro Wizard on back, and it's a little bit of a counterattack from Yaya here, but is he going to commit to it, Remy? Minion Horde is one of the most threatening cards in the game. I think Music Master has two good options there. He can either try to go Balloon or Minion Horde, because both of them have such high upsides. If they connect to the tower, tower's going down. This Goblin Head is a great 
tech choice against the balloon. And as you noted earlier, it's a pretty decent counter as well. What we're seeing here is the balloon going directly for the nearest building. The attacker would prefer for it to go to the tower because that gives them a lot of up uh, in, in, in the damage race. But if it gets distracted by anything in the center, where whether it's a defensive tower or a spawner like this Goblin Hut, especially if it can do anti-air damage like these Spear Goblins can, it's not going to be good for the attacker. And here we are going into oh, overtime yeah. with both towers still very healthy. I suspect we're going to be spending a lot of time in this game as both players are playing strong defensive decks and not giving their opponent an opening to get punished. Not at all. Music Master is a very highly versatile deck builder. We kind of expected uh, him to maybe play a little bit of Siege here, especially because there was no Siege card banned in this matchup. But he actually made it into the Crown Championship with a Mortar deck that he was playing during Phase 3. But this time has gone for an Aerial Assault. Minion, Horde, Bats, and Balloon can deal a tremendous amount of damage. And the kind of weakness that Yayo has here is the fact that his P.E.K.K.A. can only target Ground Troops. He has to leverage these Spear Goblins. He has to leverage the Electro Wizard, getting a ton of Aerial damage is so important for him and so dangerous when the minion work can dish it out so quickly. Uh-oh, that peck is getting closer to the tower. Oh, Mega Knight no. comes down late, but I think it's going to take care of it and at least keep that P.E.K.K.A. from connecting. You do not want her on that tower because at this point, it'll just take two or three P.E.K.K.A. swings and your game is over. Still though, Music Master relies on one big heavy hit from the balloon and he hasn't gotten it there yet. Yaya, on the other hand, just defends, defends, and controls the pacing of this whole matchup. He's done it very well so far and with two minutes left in overtime, he's ahead in damage on both the left and the right lanes. The longer this game goes on, I think the more it favors Yao Yao because of those goblin huts. If he can get out two or three goblin huts at a time, the buildup of Spear Goblin is going to be crazy, but great move by Music Master. He's going all in here with the P.E.K.K.A. in the left lane. He goes, cool, the counter's out. I can go Mega Knight in the right, and I don't have to worry about the P.E.K.K.A., and that's the kind of push we have coming in here. He's using buildings and the Electro Wizard to pull oh. the P.E.K.K.A. towards the Mega Knight, and here comes Balloon in the right lane. A dangerous ploy, but I think that the Mega Mini might even shut the Balloon over a little bit. It goes toward that Goblin Hut instead, and once again, the distraction is good. Yao Yao with a very high hit point P.E.K.K.A. In fact, she was at full hit points even crossing the bridge there, getting taken down by the Minion Horde, but that might not be enough. It looks like Music Master's a lot of trouble. Peck is about to reach the tower. Ice going to block and the miner supporting that defense, but not gonna be able to reach the tower. Either way, though, 242 is awfully close. Yayo just needs one more spell cycle and he's got this match. A poison does 240 damage. You would drop it down to just two, but with zap as well, he can finish off the game. He gets Ooh. the zap in there. Now he just needs to survive through a poison. Looks like he's gonna get to try to defend this balloon to prevent losing, you know, now from the right. balloon, and then he can poison at his leisure to win the game. Oh, the poison goes down, and as it ticks away the tower, the princess has no recourse. Yao Yao turns it around and this match is going to Music Master. He's a very dedicated violin and piano player and he says that helps him play better Clash Royale. Helps him see the game as it unfolds and make predictions before his opponent plays just like you know what's coming next in your piano. Huh. Song. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, the, I think that's something that Yao Yao could definitely impress us with here is if he's able to create a deck that can uh, go the distance. We've seen a lot of standard play so far of decks that are relatively familiar. Yao Yao got that first place at King's Cup because he was able to bring a completely new deck. He basically oh, no. invented the Golem Lumberjack uh, combo, but wow, a super aggressive play here from Yao Yao playing that Golem really early on. He's going to get punished hard as that Cannon Cart locks that right side tower, getting over a thousand damage. Now, you might have noticed a small little spell happen on that cannon card. Zap, the two-cost spell, will stun the target. When a target is stunned, frozen, or even knocked back, it'll retarget oh. on a new thing. The miner is wow. next to it, so it turns onto the miner. What is that flying thing over there, Rumham? That is a flying machine, one of the newest cards added to Clash Royale. Four-cost flyer. It's got about the damage of a dark goblin, about the health of two dark goblins. <laughs> And it flies, so if you uh, are able to only hit ground troops, you're out of luck. It does go down to fireball or poison, though, so it has a little bit of weakness in that regard. But it got great value against that Mega Minion there, and holding strong in the center. Music Master doesn't have a whole lot to worry about. He's sieging his opponent now with fire spirits from this furnace and dark, go uh, excuse me, uh, spear goblins from the goblin hut out back. Just getting reliable chip damage every once in a while, not relying on a big push the way that Yayo is. And for our veteran Clash Royale players in the audience, they might be getting excited because we were hoping that the players would bring new and interesting decks we've never seen before. If you've watched a lot of Clash Royale tournaments, you know that Music Master is playing something, well, I've never seen it before, have you, Woody? <laughs> this I is sure a wild not. deck. Two spawners, Goblin Hut creates the spear goblins that will attack the tower. You mentioned the furnace has the fire spirits that attack the tower. Whoa, Whoa Mega Knight going in the opposite lane, trying 
trying to punish with the flying machine behind it picking off the Mega Minion. This might be a tower on the left side. Splitting his attack up, a great strategy by Music Master. A bit of a gambit, though. You need to get a tower wow. down. You don't need to get it low. But with that Me Mega Knight, Mega Damage off the left side, lock off for the flying machine. That thing goes down, and Yayo's in a lot of trouble. This tower is gone down in 32 seconds to go with the double buildings and the cannon card. I don't know if Yao Yao's golem deck is going to be able to get through. Music Master, he qualified for the first time in the fall season. He is so close to winning his first match in the World Finals. He just needs to hold on for another 17, 16, 15 he's seconds. He's got it. Yao Yao gets the thumbs up. He knows he's out. Music Master has destroyed this golem deck, tearing it apart an avalanche going down on the blue side as the flying machine pops that lock and drops it down. 2-0 victory for Music Master. 2-1 in the match overall. And Music Master advances to the quarterfinals of the first Clash Royale World Championship.